Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I have a super exciting video for you guys today. Um, I got the most recent uh, releases from Sixth Sense. The one I'm most excited for is obviously Ben Milliken's um, Hangover Line Through Swim Bait that he just released um, a few weeks back. Uh, he's been designing this for the last couple of years and he did an absolutely amazing job with the features of this bait. Um, so this bait comes in a variety of different colors and, and then three different sink rates. Um, I made sure to get uh, three different colors, and I got one for each sink rate. Uh, I made sure I was on their website uh, even before the bait dropped. So as soon as it dropped, I was there to get these because I knew they would sell out almost immediately. Um, and I wanted to make sure I can get my hands on some of these. Um, so first up, for the fast sink, I got the blue gold color. This is 2.9 ounces and sinks a little bit over a foot per second. For the medium sink, I got the crappy color. This one is 2.7 ounces and sinks um, just under, I believe, a foot per second. And lastly, I got the slow sink, which I got the smoke six color. This is 2.5 ounces and sinks around two thirds a foot uh, every second or so. Um, so I'm going to break one of these open uh, and just go walk through the features with you guys really quick. All right. So it comes in this little clam shell, um, which I recommend making sure you store it in this the whole time, um, just to prevent any kind of damage to that tail or anything. All right. Here it is out of the box. And this is the fast sink, a blue gold color. Uh, here's the hook that it comes with. Uh, so some of the features, um, it's got the line through port front here. It pops out um, in the back up here in the fin. Um, so you can stick your hook up top here. Um, so obviously it is a top hook swim bait. Um, so that's important for you know preventing yourself from getting hung up on any kind of cover or vegetation. A lot of times with those bottom hooks, um, you'll be getting caught up on some some grass or something like that. Um, you don't want to get caught up on anything like that. Obviously, uh, another important feature about having the top hook is you're going to save a lot more fish um, with that bottom hook. Sometimes, especially with the bigger fish, you accidentally get that hook in their gill plate. If you tear that up, um, you're going to kill that fish, which really sucks. Um, so having that top hook, you'll be able to get that hook in the roof of that fish's mouth um, and making sure you're not killing any of those fish. Another unique feature is the tail design here. It almost has like a guitar pick shape to it. Um, it just gives it a unique swimming action as well. Um, this bait also has the weight up front here. Um, the weight is coated in a plastic in order to prevent any kind of damage or discoloration to the bait over time, which you'll see a lot of times with your other swim baits um, that don't have that coating on it. So this is going to just make the, the life of this bait a lot longer. It also has the bottom hook spot here. If you do want to add a bottom hook, you can. Um, again, this is for the fast sink one. And it does come with a clamshell. Like I said, I recommend you keep it in here or just store it in a way that prevents any kind of damage to the tail or anything like that um, because that'll change the action of the bait. Uh, each one of these sink rates has their own uh, speed that they swim the best at. If you fish it a little bit too slow, you'll see that it'll roll over, but uh, that just has to be, that feature will stay with the bait in order to maintain that unique side to side head action this thing has when it's swimming. Um, otherwise, they wouldn't be able to have that feature. So. Just make sure you're experimenting and with your rod and reel, uh, which speed works best um, to make sure this thing swims right. All right. Uh, next up, I got the six inch whale swim bait. Um, I did do an unboxing um, of this a few weeks back uh, with the four and a half inch version, but this is their six inch version, which they released not that long ago. And I was finally able to get my hands on some of these. Um, they sold out pretty much immediately after they dropped, so 
I was finally able to get some, and I got the Pro Shad color. I'll break it out really quick. Um, so I'll go over the features really quick again as well, as I did in my, my last video with this bait. Alright. So this is a keel-weighted belly here. You can put your keel-weighted hook in there. Um, but I'm also going to experiment using the, the six Sense treble heads as well. Um, so I can fish this thing at different speeds and different depths. Um, so I got a bunch of those as well I'm going to experiment with. Um, some other unique feature is these pectoral fins on the side. Not only does it just give it a nice lifelike uh, look to it, but this also helps stabilize the bait, especially when you're fishing it in deeper water. A lot of baits like to roll over, um, so that'll help maintain um, stability there, make sure it's meaning, uh, being flat in that water column. Um, and these pectoral fins also contribute to that unique side-to-side -side head action that this thing has when you're, you're swimming it. Uh, similar to the hangover as well. Uh, so again, super excited to finally get my hands in these and try these out. And then last up, I got the clobber minnow and the black neon and the pro chicken color. This one I'll throw in some dirtier stained water. Um, so obviously this is going to be you search some crappy, but you also be able to catch a bass on it. As well, so it's got a bigger body to it, and then it's got that same tail that a lot of some other six sense baits have a little ball on the end, and then that flat tail in order to get that unique uh, action on it. So, just pair this thing up with a small little jig head and throw on some light tackle, um, let it sink for a couple seconds, and then slowly fish it back while you're twitching your rod. Get that action on that tail, and this thing is going to do amazing. Uh, so that's it. That's all the baits I have. Um, unfortunately, I still have not been able to get my hands on the, the Panorama, which has been sold out since they dropped it a little while back. Um, so hopefully in the future I can get my hands on some of those. Um, talk about those really quick. But again, obviously super excited to finally have Ben Milliken's flying through swim bait. I've been waiting a while for him to release this. Uh, hopefully I can get out and test the spade out. Uh, I know a lot of people have already caught some really big fish on it. So super excited to try it. All right, and that is it, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.